All right, welcome back to the channel. So Gary Russell Jr. and Devin Haney, looks like the fight could actually be taking place. Uh, yesterday, Team Russell said that they were in working hard on finalizing the agreement with Al Heyman. That is absolutely terrific news. So all of the people that keep insisting that Gary Russell Jr. is ducking, maybe you'll believe that. I doubt it, though. Let's talk about that, though, in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So last night on BFTB, uh, Best Fight the Best Boxing, uh, Batman, who is the brother of Gary Russell Jr., came on the show smiling, looking good, happy, uh, like, hey, man, we are working hard at getting this fight done. Uh, you know, at times I'd, I listened to Batman talk and he felt less hopeful. So I know all I need to know about the negotiation and the fact that it is continuing to go on. They're trying to find a way to make that fight work. That is absolutely tremendous news. I hope that that's the case. This fight would be wonderful for Team uh, Russell. It would be wonderful for Team Haney. And the entire time that I've been dealing with this whole subject, that is all that I wanted to take place for the fight to happen. Although we are not there yet, at least we still know that we that there is an opportunity for this to happen because clearly no fight has been announced for either Gary Russell Jr. or Devin Haney, not the Fortuna fight, not the um, not the uh, Gamboa fight. Neither one of those fights have been talked about or out there really where people say that those are going to happen. And seeing as we are now a week later in, the longer this goes, the less likely it is that Devin Haney is going to get a fight on uh, November 6th. So, uh, but we will see. Now, um, one thing that I have to say in this video, uh, when I told people exactly why I thought the fight wasn't taking place, which I remain it from my vantage point, it's the only logical reason that the fight didn't happen is because Floyd Mayweather Jr. didn't want the fight to happen, and he has influence on both sides of the negotiation. He's got influence with Al Heyman and the PBC. That is undeniable. He has uh, influence with Devin Haney because he is the basically the trainer, or the, not the trainer, what is he? With De Devin Haney, you don't even know what he is with Devin Haney. He could be his... Somebody says protege, but if protege, if it's a protege, he could be his backer. He could be his financial backer. I don't know what that means. I don't know exactly other than he is definitely in the Mayweather gym and he is definitely a Mayweather fighter. So my logic was, hey, why? Who would not want this fight to happen? The most logical person for me is Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's how I figured it. And that's why I said I am not going to blame Devin Haney. I am not going to blame Gary Russell Jr. However, that was not enough for some people. Okay? Obviously not enough. So I what I have to do, even though I said I wasn't going to be talking about this anymore and I really don't want to, but people keep talking. So what I now have to do is say, okay, let me explain to you why I didn't think that Devin Haney was ducking the fight. Devin Haney was, was ducking the fight. Or Bill Haney was ducking the fight. They didn't want the fight because I truly believe that Devin Haney thinks he can beat Gary Russell Jr. And I think that he is a man. He's a fighter. And if you put him in the ring with Gary Russell Jr., he'll fight him. He's much bigger. He's younger. Hey, he would get into the fight. There's nothing that I heard from Devin Haney himself that told me he didn't want that fight. Okay. I'm not talking about his daddy. I ain't talking about his manager. I'm not talking about anybody. I'm telling you the reason why I don't think Devin, I kept saying, I don't think Devin Haney's ducking this fight is because there's nothing that Devin Haney said that made me believe that he was ducking the fight. Can't speak for anybody else, but I don't believe that about Devin Haney. Now, Gary Russell Jr., let me tell you why I don't think he's ducking the fight. And the idea that he was ducking the fight to me is absolutely ridiculous. In fact, let me back up. There's another reason why. I didn't want to say that Devin Haney was ducking the fight because Devin Haney was in the middle of a negotiation trying to get a fight done. It's called a good faith negotiation. If somebody is in a negotiation, you believe they have good faith. Good faith means that you're actually trying to work towards a resolution. 
there's nothing that Devin Haney showed me that I thought was him acting in bad faith. Devin Haney. Now, other people, a lot of it. A lot of it. A lot of things. But I won't get into those because I don't want to get into those. Because if I get into those, that takes me into conversations that took place off camera. So, suffice it to say, I did not think Devin Haney himself was trying to get out of that fight because Devin Haney was in a good faith negotiation. Now, if he was in a bad faith negotiation, I might say, no, he's not serious. But still, he's in a negotiation. So I have to wait until either he refuses to enter into a negotiation or until the negotiation actually stops and we have a reason to believe that there was never a good faith negotiation. At that point in time, I might have said that Devin Haney was a duck, but I refuse to do that to the kid because I see how this game is being played where people are ripping people's names up and trying to get wins on their resume without ever stepping into the ring. Okay. Didn't want to do that to Devin Haney. Refused to do that with Devin Haney. Despite the fact that, yeah, I have to admit his father, you know, I wasn't really buying a lot of it. Just to be truth with you. I just wasn't buying a lot of it. Don't want to say what or how or where just suffice it to say, no, nah, I really, really, really wasn't buying it. Wasn't buying it. Gary Russell Jr. Though, why would I say that? I don't think Gary Russell Jr. Is a duck. Same reason. I don't think Devin Haney is one because he was in the middle of a negotiation. Now for me, what really blew my mind away is you people's logic. You guys want to say to me, in your little diss videos and in your old Fanon's Lion videos, you guys want to tell me that it is unrealistic for me, me, to think that a promoter that is a guy that is a that owns a interest in the promotional company of one guy and is the and is the is the mentor slash sponsor because he's training in the Mayweather gym. Is he paying for that shit? I mean, how does he, when you're in the Mayweather gym and you're getting Mayweather to put punches to you, how much is Mayweather charging you for that training session? He's not charging you. That's sponsored. That's free. He's coming in there. He's doing all that. And he's not paying any money. That's a sponsorship at the very least. So if you think that it is unreasonable for me to say, ah, I think the guy who has a sponsorship or protege mentorship with one guy and has a promotional influence over the other guy has the ability, has the means, method, has, excuse me, has the means, opportunity, um, and motive to do it. If you think that I'm wrong with that, but yet you can believe that a guy in the middle of a negotiation that is struggling to get fights, that said he would take the fight, that has not dropped out of the negotiation, has never dropped out of the negotiation, who was more than willing to get on the phone with me behind the scenes, get on the phone with me uh, and other people on their channel, if you think he's that he's the guy that's ducking, I ask you to tell me how in the world can a guy be ducking in the middle of a negotiation? It's not even over yet. I can understand if after it was over, you said, oh, you assigned blame after it was over, but you didn't want to, you guys don't want to assign blame after it's over. You want to, you want to same blind, you want to assign blame right now. You don't even want all the evidence to come in. You want a verdict right now. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it makes sense to me, but it's just when you compare the two theories, the Gary Russell Jr. duct is just stupid because it's he's in the middle of a negotiation. You're that's like somebody applying for a job, going through five or six interviews, and you say the guy doesn't want the job. The reason you're not hiring him is because he doesn't want the job. Oh, he didn't get the job because he didn't really want it. What do you mean he didn't want it? He can't, he gave you your resume. He came to the interview. He came to the second round of interviews. He came to the third round of interviews. He told you he wants the job, but you're telling me that although he's super qualified, the reason that this you didn't hire him, he was the only opponent and he wanted the job. People wanted to hire him, but you're telling me that this guy never wanted it. Like he would go all through that for no reason. When have you seen Gary Russell Jr. do that? When have you seen Gary Russell Jr. in his long career, in his past history, Go through a negotiation where it was just fake. I can tell you I've seen that with Floyd Mayweather Jr. And, May and Manny Pacquiao for five straight years, but I can't tell you I've ever seen that about Gary Russell Jr. But somehow, people just, 
say it's him. It's him. Oh, the only logical thing is Gary's ducking. No, that is completely illogical. There's absolutely no facts to back that up. And when Gary Russell Jr. himself is saying he's meeting with these, dude, stop. Okay, just stop. Let's try to make the fight happen. Because that's what I thought it was about. Making the fight happen. And putting out things and letting everybody see what has taken place so everybody can make their own decision. But somehow in the middle of eight hours of uninterrupted conversation, eight hours of uninterrupted conversation with the team, with the team which always ended with something positive, something moving forward, some something, a term sheet, something. People were desperately trying to get this fight done. But no, it's all on Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. is the duck. That just doesn't make sense, people. So I guess when I said, when I told you what, what I thought it was, I should have told you why I didn't think it was Gary and why I didn't think it was Devin Haney. Because it makes no sense for it to be Gary Russell Jr. It makes no sense for it to be Devin Haney. But people want me to believe that it's not somebody that it makes perfect sense for it to be. No, man, I just can't buy into it, man, at all. So I hope that was my the best explanation I can give. Again, again, the fight is still in negotiation. So I'm sure now that I've said that, that the, this in negotiation still, you know, it'll be Der Gary ducking. Gary's been ducking and ducking for three straight weeks in the middle of a negotiation. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.